Hi guys, I thought you might want to see this. Here we've got an OmniCharge Omni 20 Plus power bank. And uh, this is just a box for it. I'll show you the actual unit in a sec. But um, this has got a capacity of 20,000 milliamp hours. It's also got some uh, some pretty cool features. It's got a built-in 100 watt AC inverter and it will take a charging feed directly from a solar panel. And it's also got USB-C outputs and USB-A outputs. And there's a lot of configuration settings that you can tweak to get this thing to work exactly the way you want. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this because actually there's some really good videos already up there on YouTube if you wanna check it out. But in addition, uh, we've got this Alessienta LSFC60, 60, 60 watt solar charger, which is basically a solar panel. And you can see the specs of it here. So maximum power output, 60 watts. Not quite managed to get 60 watts out of it, but um, not far off. Uh, operating voltage, uh, 18 volts, and uh, up to a maximum of 3.3 amps. And you can see the, uh, the output voltages there for uh, USB-C, and uh, so for USB Type-A. And it's just gone nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, obviously we're on British summer time. Right? Okay, here you go. Here's the, uh, here's the solar charger and the solar panel. Now there's some ports on the back. So here we've got our DC cable coming out. And we've also got a USB-C and a USB-A. So you can charge USB devices directly from it. But in this case, we're not doing that. So there's our DC feed coming in. So that DC feed from the solar panel is coming directly into the OmniCharge uh, Omni 20 Plus. And if we have a quick look at that, you can see at the moment we are generating just over 38 watts. There you go, which is not bad. Okay, let's put it back on for a second. Okay, so 38 watts. It has peaked out at about 45, but uh, it probably needs positioning a little better towards the sun. Now you can see here, actually when I first plugged this in, um, I had about 85% charge in the, uh, in the only charge battery and we're now up to 93, and that's in a matter of minutes, actually, so that's doing a pretty good job. So if you're working on a project right now and you need a high-quality PCB starting at just $5 or some 3D printing even, you might want to check out our sponsor, PCBWay. Okay, here's a little follow-up. So we can see we've got this fan plugged into the AC inverter on the on the charge on the 20 plus. If I just zoom in on the display if I can. Okay, so we've got 38.5 watts of power going into the uh, on the charge from the solar panel and the fan on full tilt is drawing 4.5, 4.7 watts, something like that. So you could power that all day, well, all the time you got the sun anyway, without using any of the uh, the charge in the battery. Obviously, even when we use the sun, it'll carry on working until the uh, the battery's exhausted. But um, there you go. Free energy this time of year could be useful. Yeah, let's show you this as well. So now I'm using one of the USB ports on the front of the Omni Charge, and we can see that the current draw has gone up to about 7 watts now, but still plenty of headroom on there. We're still getting 38.7 watts into uh, the Omni Charge from the solar panel, and we can see here. We've got a, a MacBook. Now this is a USB Type-A to USB-C cable. And if we have a look at the battery, we can see that is charging. 
quite slowly, it's not a fast charge. For that, we would have to use ideally the USB C, but, um, but unfortunately, that's not an option because we can't have input on the DC and output on the USB C at the same time. Uh, it's kind of one or the other, really. But, um, but that is working, and you can happily use that even if it's going to take a little while to uh, to recharge it this way. So there you go. Okay, so let's try something else. The battery on my iPhone is basically in the red, so that's flat. So what I'm going to do is put this iPhone onto the induction plate on the OmniCharge 20 Plus and you can see here okay, that is actually now charging off the induction plate so that's a pretty cool feature so we'll leave that charging okay so we're now drawing just over 11 watts the, uh, the fan is still running on there as well hopefully that was uh, of some interest to you and uh, maybe you want to try something silly yourself anyway let us know in the comments uh, how you get on if you are going to try something similar and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Cheers for now guys, see ya.